Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to do a DIY video and we're going to be starting really looking at items that you can get from charity shops and thrift stores. Now there's lots of items in there, hidden gems that you can use and upcycle and give a new lease of life. Now often craft materials and supplies are quite expensive. So if we go to something maybe that's going to be thrown away or donated, we can save some money and also repurpose things and reuse them. So I love looking around charity shops. In the summer, I went and looked around quite a few different ones in different areas. And it's good to feel sometimes there's nothing in there of any interest, but you can sometimes pick up a real hidden gem. So today we're going to upcycle a chalkboard, but I just wanted to show you inside one of my local charity shops. You can find all sorts of different things, pots, and you can upcycle tables, picture frames. There's so much that you can do. Um, if you just have a look around, a bit of chalk paint, you can pop over some tables and really give them a new lease of life. This chalkboard um, I found really, really cheap. I'm not going to upcycle this one, but it is a similar one. So this is the chalkboard that I found and it was literally just £2.50, so it's nice and cheap. So what I'm going to do to start with is just take the stickers, there's a gift aid sticker on there, I'll take that off. There's little bits of blue tack as well that's stuck on there. And also there's a little hook here. Now, I could leave that on if I wanted to, maybe put a little um, hanging heart from it or something like that, you know, I could decorate that, but I think I'm going to just take it out and maybe use some wood filler. So let's just take that out. Do you know, I still do lefty loosey righty tighty when I'm undoing things. <laughs> OK, so all I'm going to do with that is just pop a tiny little bit of wood filler in that. So let me take the stickers off and the bits of blue tack and then we'll start painting. I'm going to use this French chic. It's the wedding cake one. So I'll just give it a bit of a shake. And with the French chic, then you really have to use one of these little tools to open it. So just go round, lifts the can up, the lid up nicely. So I'm just using one of my usual brushes that I use. And I want one that's a little bit stiff because if it's too soft, I probably won't have too much control over where the paint goes. So I am actually going to repaint the chalkboard part because it looks like someone's used, you know, the, the liquid kind of markers there. Uh, chalks on them and it's kind of showing through so I am going to re kind of go over that as well but literally all I'm going to do is to go over this with the chalk paint it might need a couple of layers but I just want to really show you how easy it is to find bits and pieces from you know charity shops and second-hand stores and just give them a bit of a new lease of life and you can go on to resell them if you want to, or you can keep them yourself or just give them as gifts. So with this top part where it's got the um, the writing, let me just go over that actually. It has got like um, an indentation, so it sort of goes in. So originally I was going to just put some napkins over the top, but where the indentation is, I'll probably maybe use a bit of sandpaper or something. Let's have a look. We can see what we can do and bring a bit of the lettering out. So I'm going to go over this with a couple of layers of paint. And then we'll, um, we'll see what to do next. But incidentally, if you haven't already subscribed, then then please subscribe to us. Um, really easy to do. Hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. But also make sure you've tapped the bell to be notified because I've I noticed I've noticed that YouTube YouTube have kind of changed how they do things and they're not always notifying people when um, content creators are uploading new videos. So just check that. It's not just with me, but with other people that you subscribe to as well. Just check that the bell's on if you want to get notified because they don't always notify you now so you might be missing out on people's videos i have noticed lots of people have said welcome back and i think well, i haven't been anywhere probably for two weeks over christmas that's it but i'm still here guys so i'm going to go over all of that very carefully do in here as well uh, i'll do two coats and am i going to paint the back no i'm not going to paint the back 
um, really easy and I'll be back with you. Right, so that's all done and dried. And what I'm gonna do is paint the um, chalkboard paint over the top. And I'm not sure if I should have done this first. I'll go around the edge carefully. I'll kind of miss that for a bit and just paint it over. Now I think I bought this maybe from B&Q um, but lots of places sell it and I just thought it would give it a nice fresh look if we can go over these sort of marks and stains on it so I'll do one coat see how it is and then if I've got to do another one I'll do another one I'm just going to go around the edge really carefully with just a small brush just to get right up close to the edge right so here is the chalkboard finished for that stage so all I did was do one layer of the paint there for the chalkboard paint and I think it looks fine with one so that's all I'm going to bother doing. At the top here you can see um, inside you've got like the uh, embossing kind of indentation of the the writing that's there so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to get some sandpaper and just pull some bits out so you can kind of read what it says still. Now if it was plain I'd probably put my own stencil over or I might decoupage something over it. I might even do a little decoupage in the corner. I'm just going to see kind of how it turns out. Now we're going to distress the sides and for that I'm going to use some sandpaper but you can actually use a wipe or something like that and just rub the side and that will work just the same and it's less mess as well but I'm going to use as I say a piece of sandpaper. So all you do I've got a piece here you just get it and you just lightly rub like that and what you want to do is just rub a piece away of the paint that you've done just to give it a bit of a distressed kind of effect can you see so the more you can do more you can do less you can do whatever in whatever places you want just to make it look um, older and a little bit distressed because distressed because that's the look that I want and that I'm going to go for so all you do is you do it in certain areas just get little bits like that and rub it as you can see it kind of just comes looking like that and this section here I'm just going to get the paper some paper and just do the same sort of thing on sections and if we need to enhance it with anything else, then we can always do that later. So I'm going to do this off camera because it'll be too noisy and very boring for you guys. So I'll distress that and then we'll just put some decoupage over the top. So I've done that. As you can see, I've gone over these letters here with a little bit of the um, sandpaper and just sort of pulled off some of the paint in certain areas and gone around the edges and just distressed here, there and kind of everywhere really. So what we're going to do now is to cut out some napkins. Usually with napkins, if you've been with me before, you've seen decoupage. What we do is we get our water and we go round with, you know, some water and then we separate it. For this one, I'm going to use these flowers here. And all I'm doing is just getting my scissors and cutting as close to the pattern as I can now. But because the chalkboard's painted in cream it won't matter if we've got a little bit around some parts but it's just a case of going around really carefully and just cutting that out and then you will get something that looks like that now we're going to put our little pieces of napkin on top of the paint so we haven't done anything else all we've done is put the paint on sanded it that's it nothing else has been done to it so far so this little bit here, I'm just going to separate the ply because we only want one, which is the top one. So just be really careful because it is really, really delicate. And then get some, you can use watered down PVA, that's fine. I'm going to use some of this matte finish. I'll just pour a little tiny bit in the lid. And I'm not 100% sure where it's going to exactly end up on here. So paint a very thin layer on this corner and then we will get this like that and then very carefully very very carefully 
just kind of go over it like that. Now these bits, what we can do is we can just file them off, but I think they'd look quite nice, sort of bent round like this. So we're just gonna bend that down like that. And that just gives a nice bit of detail in the corner. And then on this side, over here, I'm just going to do the same thing. And you can literally put as much or as little as you want. It'd look quite nice maybe with some butterflies or some swirls or anything like that. And again, you can do it to whatever style, you know, you want. So as long as you just have the top ply. And they are, little, they are fiddly to do. I'm not going to say they're not. So if you're a little bit heavy handed, you might struggle with these. Or if you struggle with sort of delicate things it might be tricky to cut them out so we'll just put a bit more glue on this corner here just nice and thin don't don't put much on and just do exactly the same thing just be really gentle And I might do a couple of extra bits around the bottom as well. Right, so I'll show you what I've done. So I've put some at the top there. I've just kind of dotted them around, if you can see. And then some down the bottom, just in that corner. Now, to finish over the top, because you've got chalk paint, if you don't put anything on it, it will mark really easily. So you need to finish it with something. Various things you can use. Uh, my two favourites would be, I can use the matte finish, again, the same sort of thing. Um, or you can use this. This is really good, this decor wax. Um, you can get darker coloured ones. This is a cream, well, clear, should I say, a clear colour. So you can go over it with that. But because I've got the decoupage on there, I'm just going to go over with some matte finish over all of the white paint. I'll be careful going over this bit because obviously if it's still wet and I'm brushing it over, it'll probably rip. So once the napkin's dried, I'll go over it with another layer of, of matte finish, but do this kind of in the meantime. And then it will be finished. Right, there we go. So that's it all finished. I've just hung it up in my craft room here. Just get a little bit of chalk and I'll just pop it on there. And I can use that and pop some notes down when I need to. So I hope I've inspired you to have a go and look around some charity shops and maybe do up some bits that have come to the end of their life and give them a bit of a new lease of life there. So if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. And also hit the notification bell because that will notify you when I upload a video. But that's it for me. Hope you're keeping safe and well and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.